Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video, I'm going to check the black version of the Beta FPV Express LRS Micro TX model. Basically, this version has a maximum output power of 1 watt in comparison to the white version, which has a maximum output power of 500 milliwatts, and it comes with the new case, which will allow you to freely use any type of USB Type-C connector. In addition, it comes with the new Beta FPV Express LRS firmware, which now will enable you to use the joystick button the way it should be, as a 5-dimensional button, and it also fixes the bug which caused the model to fail safe upon entering the setup menu. It's worth mentioning that the new firmware can also be applied, of course, to the white model, and in case you are interested in the new case, it's available separately so you can purchase it and just replace the internal components of the model in order to solve the USB Type-C connector problem. Setting up the model can be either done using the Express LRS Lua script, or you can do it using the Crossfire configuration option, which is available in many radio controllers, including the Radio Master T16S. So you can simply select this option, then you'll be able to select the Beta FPV Micro TX model, and then over here you can see the new options which are available on the Express LRS 2.0 version, as the Beta FPV firmware was forked from this version. Now let's quickly test its output power. When it is set to 25 milliwatts, I'm getting about 25 milliwatts. On 50 milliwatts, I'm getting 56 milliwatts. On 100 milliwatts, about 100 milliwatts. On 250 milliwatts, I'm getting about 300 milliwatts. And now maybe you can hear it, but the fan kicked in because I set the fan thrash to 250 milliwatts, which means that when this output power or above is going to be selected, the fan is going to start working. When the output power is set to 500 milliwatts, I'm getting about 660 milliwatts. And when the output power is set to the maximum value, which is 1000 milliwatts, I'm getting about 1.5 watts. In addition, the fan really helps to keep the output power steady. And still, after two minutes, I'm getting a constant output power of about 1.5 watts. Now, in case you don't want to use the forked Express LRS firmware by Beta FPV, now using the latest version of the Express LRS configuration tool, you'll be able to flash directly the firmware of the Beta FPV micro module. The only downside is that, at least currently, the joystick button is not going to be in use, so you'll need to use the Lua script on your radio controller in order to configure the model and the changes are going to be reflected on the OLED display of the Micro TX model. In my opinion, in case you're using a radio controller that enables you to configure the model via a loose script, you should stick to the official Express LRS firmware. However, in case you are not going to be able to configure the model using the radio controller, you might want to keep using the Beta FPV firmware. Now, by the way, in case you haven't done it already, you should definitely update your Express LRS model to firmware 2.0 as it is packed with nice features, including the BLE joystick option that after enabling it will enable you to connect your radio controller directly to your computer over Bluetooth and then use your radio controller in order to control flight simulators. Here you can see, for example, how this pretty transparent process is done on my Mac. So first I need to connect my computer to the new Bluetooth device. And then, as you can see, it is detected as an Express LRS joystick under the lift of simulator. And after going through the calibration procedure, I can simply use my TX16S ready controller in order to wirelessly control the lift of flight simulator over Bluetooth. Now, in terms of pricing, the Beta FPV Express LRS 1 watt model costs $10 more than the 500 milliwatt version. The price difference is not that big, but keep in mind that for most users, 500 milliwatts is going to be more than enough. But in case you'd like to get the most out of your model and you are doing extreme long range flights, or maybe you need something that is going to be able to penetrate better through thick concrete walls probably you'd find the 1 watt model more appealing. Now, before wrapping up this quick video, I'm going to randomly select the winner of the Beta FPV Express LRS Micro TX model giveaway, which was announced about a month ago. 
In order to participate in the giveaway, you have to make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel and leave a single comment on the giveaway video that contained the code GAL21BF. Now using the YouTube Random Comment Picker tool, I'm going to randomly select the winner, and as always, all Patreon supporters or level supporter and above are automatically included in the giveaway. The total amount of unique commenters that left the correct code is 151, plus 27 extra entries from the Patreon supporters who are auto-included. Now I'm going to randomly select the winner, and the winner is Kearns JW, and I'm just going to make sure that Kearns JW is publicly subscribed to my channel. There you go, he is. So Kearns JW, you are the winner of the BitFPP Express Alerts giveaway, and you have until the end of this month to reach out to me in order to claim your prize. The prize is going to be directly sent to you by BTFPV who kindly sponsored this giveaway. You can find my email down below, simply reach out to me and I'm going to take care of the rest. Anyway, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoy it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.